Trump administration takes an emergency appeal to the Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit has a set of judges, three judges, set up randomly every month they change to hear motions. So this panel of three uh, gets this emergency motion to vacate the stay that the trial judge put in place. Uh, they have a process for doing this. The Ninth Circuit judges have a process. So you file your motion and brief. That happened on Saturday. The stay was entered in the trial court on Friday. Saturday, the government files its brief with its motion. And the government says, while you think about our brief, would you give us a stay? <laughs> and they immediately said, no, we're not going to do that. The other side hasn't even had a chance to respond. So they immediately denied what's called an administrative stay. Actually, highly unusual to even ask for it. I was really surprised and totally expected that they would say no. So then the judges say, fine, we're not going to stay it while we think about whether to do a stay. Uh, State of Washington, you have a day to file a response. That was yesterday at, what, one in the morning. The State of Washington and Minnesota filed a response in opposition to the Trump administration. And then today at three o'clock, the government filed a reply. So we got three briefs, the opening brief, the opposition, and the reply. All right, as soon as they filed the reply, literally within minutes, the Ninth Circuit posted an order saying, okay, this is set for oral argument tomorrow, 30 minutes aside for a total of an hour. That is so unusual, I've never seen it. I've never seen a motions panel set argument. It has happened in the past, but I've never seen it personally. And I've done a lot of emergency motions work in some of my prior lawyering. Um, they're going to hold a telephonic argument at 3 p.m. tomorrow, half an hour per side, before they decide this. That's a signal that they're taking it very, very seriously. They're not going to just deny it off the cuff. They're not going to grant it off the cuff. They're going to set this up. I think it's because they understand this is going up to the Supreme Court no matter what they decide. One party is going to take it up to Justice Kennedy, who then will refer it to the entire court. And then to play that out, the court has eight justices right now, which means it's likely that we think the best, who knows, we think the best the Trump administration could do would be to get a 4-4 tie, in which case the circuit court's opinion will be affirmed, and then it'll go back down to the trial court. All this panel can do is say, well, we think there's a likelihood one side might win on the merits, and since we can't say for sure, let's see who's harmed. And if one side is harmed more than the other, we'll either leave the stay in place or we'll, grant, uh, we'll vacate it. Um, and the state of Washington says we have thousands of people being harmed. And frankly, the Trump administration says the only harm here is that courts are interfering with this order. That's a wild argument. That is outrageously fundamental to the constitutional system to get a little theoretical, right? Judicial review is a part of the checks and balances of the Constitution. And to say that judicial review is a harm is really just outrageous, I think. And I haven't seen that argument before.